So let's see some applications of um, natural language processing. So as I said, it's either you're going to um, be working on text or audio or you're going to work on both of them. Okay, so um, if you think about Alexa, Alexa is an example of um, an audio processing and test also, okay, an audio and test combined together that you, you I mean, that has been fused together to um, create the software that you see in, in, in Alexa. It's nothing but natural language processing. Okay, if you think about chatbot, okay, chatbot is a natural language processing. And in this course, you're going to create your own chatbot as well okay you're going to see how you create it right from um from the scratch you're going to come up with your own use case i'm going to do one for you to see and then you come up with your own use case and then you create it for yourself all right and then uh, we also have google assistant right which is an example of audio to test okay where you speak and then your voice will be i mean whatever words that you you've spoken will be converted to a test and then the particular instruction will be um, executed. So that is an example of um, natural language processing. Okay. When we talk about sentiment analysis, right? If you go to Twitter, a lot of people will be treating a lot of things, right? Uh, mostly when it comes to the political campaigns, people want to know their analysts, they want to know what people are talking about. Okay. Whether they are going to vote for this party or that party, what are they really saying, right? So in order to analyze something like that, you need a skill of NLP to do that. Okay. You need natural language processing to do that. Or maybe you want to uh, measure the brand awareness, right? Are people talking about your brand? Okay. You want to see how or what people are really talking about. Are they saying something positive about your brand? Are they saying something positive about, I mean, negative about the brand? Or maybe a competitive analysis. You want to see, you see what people are saying about a particular brand, right? If you pick, for instance, if you pick maybe Coca-Cola, right? You want to see what people are talking about the Coca-Cola products, right? So in that case, you need the skills of natural language processing to extract all the data I mean, all the tests and then analyze them, pre-process and analyze it to actually know the sentiment around the words that you are treating. Okay. All right. And if you think about, say, auto-suggest, right, where you type something on your phone and then you see that some words will be suggested for you. Okay. They are all, I mean, they are all, I mean, natural language processing, right? All these are natural language processing that you see out there. Okay. All right, so I mean, this is all of us. You can actually think about quite a lot of use cases over there, right? You can think about quite a lot of um, use cases over there, right? Spam detection, right? In your email, you realize that some of the emails, when they come, they land in your inbox. Some of them also go to spam folder. It's pure natural language processing working behind your, I mean, working behind Gmail or whatever email that you're using. Okay, machine translation. When you 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 have um some words in one language and you want to translate it to another language. Okay, maybe from say English to say um to, to say French, right? From English to say French or to Spanish. Okay, doing these things requires pure natural language processing skills to do that. Okay, text prediction, right? Where you maybe um you want to predict whatever that people are going to, I mean, say or going to type. Maybe you are typing on your phone and then you see that they will be, they will be predicting what the next to come. Okay. On, on your phone. I'm, I'm sure you've experienced that. Okay. Sentiment analysis, as I said, right. Spell check, right. If you, if you're using word, you will see quite a lot that you type or you, um, yeah, you type a certain word and then it will be underlined red. You see that red squeaky line underlining it right showing that the word that you type is wrong right not only word i mean a lot of um applications when you type it wrongly when you type some words wrongly it's going to underline it right that is spell check and it's pure natural language processing all right um speech recognition right you want to see who spoke this whose voice is this mostly in the law court um if you they want to identify who spoke a certain uh, kind of words right if, if it is an evidence against a certain kind of case, they really want to identify whose voice is it because the, the person that they want to charge will be denying that that's not my voice. And in that case, you need natural language processing to decipher whose voice is it. Okay. Character recognition, right? For instance, sometimes you write um, certain characters, right? Maybe it's like say A and you want to recognize it or that is it A or not, right? Because in human understanding, you know that this is A, right? But if I write something like this, right? If I write something like this, in human understanding, you still know that this is A. It's possible that it's A, but would the machine be able to identify that this is A? 
This happens a lot, especially in the banking sector. If someone writes their name, right? If someone writes their name, something like this, okay? In this case, in human understanding, you know that this thing here is R. This is H, okay? But in machine, would the machine be able to identify that this is R and not N, okay? This is R and not N, or this is H and not L. How would the machine be able to uh, differentiate this L from this L, okay? All these kind of um, character recognition are... I mean, we use natural language processing for for, for that, right? Autocomplete and autocorrect, okay? As I mentioned, you type something wrongly and then it will suggest you the right one. Brand popularity, right? You want to see how popular your brand is. You go to the internet, you use natural language processing to see the sentiment around your brand, okay? Social media monitoring, what are people um, doing on the internet? What are they saying? This one happens a lot, Um on Twitter, right? A lot of people monitor um, social media, uh, I mean, actions over there on, on Twitter. A lot of companies specialize in that. Okay, test summarization. Right? There'll be quite a long, I mean, test over there, but we need to summarize everything, right? We use natural language process, and we're going to see these kind of things as we, we, we get hands-on on the um, project. So you're going to see, I mean, these kind of things over there, right? Virtual agents and chatbots very much applicable when it comes to natural language um, processing okay we do a lot of um, chatbot and virtual agents and as i said in this course you're going to create your own chatbot all right recommendation systems create application of natural language processing okay create application of natural language processing so i mean you can see that natural language processing is quite a lot there's a whole i um, mean a huge use case of natural language processing more than computer vision Right, more than computer vision. In every use case in the industry, I mean, it's, it's quite 90% of the time, natural language processing skills are going to be needed, even before you proceed to computer vision. All right. So it's, even if you are not going to specialize in that, it's quite important to understand the concept in there so that one day it's just going to help you. Okay. Somehow one of the projects you're going to work on, even if you're going to do computer vision, is going to help you. All right. So um, here is just a summary of everything, right? You can see um, in the newspapers, like say New York Times, you see quite a lot of um, natural language processing there suggesting you some things, right? I, I mean, Alexa is one of them, right? You can ask Alexa anything. You speak audio, right? But when you speak audio, audio the audio is being converted to text, right? Which is going to be, which the algorithm will understand and then um, give you the answer, all right? quite a lot of applications of natural language processing. Think of automated um, captioning, right? If you're on YouTube, you can, I mean, if you're watching a video or listening to some song, you can click on um, caption, then you see the um, the auto caption over there, right? It will, it will be translating the audio that you are speaking to test for you. That is natural language processing, okay? That is natural, pure natural language processing. If you are using Gmail, right? When you open your Gmail, you see that there will be some suggestions over there, which you can easily click on one of them to reply to your emails. Pure natural language processing, right? If you go to LinkedIn, and in your LinkedIn inbox, if you want to reply something, you'll see that there will be some auto suggestions over there. That is pure natural language processing over there. Okay, there's, there's, there's a whole lot of applications of natural language processing, and that is even making um, easier to find a job in natural language processing as compared to computer vision, right? As compared to computer vision. All right. Okay. So um, what we're going to do is to um, get to understand some basic concept of natural language processing before we move on to do any hands-on, right? Because these things are very crucial uh, for you to understand. Okay. They are very, very much crucial for you to understand. So we're going to understand these, um, I mean, master know terminologies that we use in natural language processing, right? Going forward, those are the vocabularies that we're going to speak, okay? These are the vocabularies that we're going to speak in natural language processing. So we need to understand them right from the onset, okay? Everything that we're going to do is going to revolve around these things that I've given you over here, okay? 